hello book lovers how you guys doing i hope you guys have been finding a lot of interesting books to read i mean i found a couple and i just want to share this one with you guys so the book i'll be talking about today is dreaming of ways to understand you by chair maker um jerry chair maker so it's the author's first published work it was published by magic wand publishing magic wand so it's a collection of short stories and um i really like that it's like the stories are different from each other you know the first story is different from the second you know like when you read the first you think everything is going to be linked or similar but then they're all different and unique and interesting in their own different ways so my favorite story from the collection is actually the first story i liked that it was so different from the rest you know when i read it i thought the rest of the novel was going to sorry rest of the book was going to be like that but it wasn't so i liked that that first story is thematically different from anything out there in the nigerian literary scene because it's a crime story and i really like crime stories because i watch a lot of crime documentaries so i found that first story very intriguing and i liked that towards the end it just took a very unexpected turn you know like when you're reading it you don't think the end is going to be like that so i liked the way it ended i liked that i liked the suspense and you know like yeah i just liked how it ended so that was my favorite story so um something i liked about the book was how easy it was to read and how poetic the writing was like when you're reading it you can easily tell that the writer is a poet and you can tell that he loves music because every story had a reference to songs and sometimes the songs were even woven into the story like that first story there was a reference to a whiskey song i want your body laying in my bed or sleeping in my bed and you know the song was playing in the background and the character in that story was thinking about that line but then he was thinking about it in a literal sense so towards the end when the whole story comes together you see that that the twisted mind of that character is actually thinking of it in a literal sense you know someone else would think of it in a sexual manner like you want to be in bed with a lady but this twisted character is thinking of it as he wants the lady's dead body on his bed so yeah i liked that story because uh it was twisted but intriguing you know so that was my favorite story so talking about how poetic the lines are like the the stories are and the author's style is um i have a favorite line actually and it goes like this my father is the best travel agent when it comes to these guilt trips you know so it, it's it's kind of like a punch like like you can tell that the author likes rap you know it, it feels like something a rapper would say or a poet you know so i like that i liked um the the abundant use of similes and metaphors and vivid imagery you know like there was this imagery that the author used about um his father or a character's father being from the generation of people that won't let you turn off the tv even when they are dozing off so yeah i found that very relatable we can all relate to something like that because our parents are like that even when they're sleeping they don't want you to change the channel from whatever it is they're watching so um i really liked that about the book it's relatability you know and uh the the style the style i found it very intriguing very very captivating easy to read and very poetic and i like poetry so i liked that i could relate with the stories on that level so so there was only one thing i didn't like i didn't like the second story because i felt like it had a lot of potential but it was too short so you know i was expecting there to be more but then the story just ended up very abruptly for me so i was kind of disappointed especially as i had just read the first story and i really loved it so i was going into the second story with a lot of high expectations but then yeah, i was uh, i was a bit disappointed because i felt like there should be more so yeah maybe the author can look into that and make that story longer because i liked where that was going to it had that kind of weird twistedness that the first story had so i would have loved to see that uh made longer so um yeah so the themes in the book some of them are 
sexuality gender sexual abuse domestic violence you know very important themes and uh this is what makes the book a very important book because it doesn't shy away from difficult conversations about sexuality and gender like there was a story that uh, was about a male character getting sexually abused in boarding school and all boys boarding school and these stories are more common than you would expect they are common but we don't hear a lot about them we hear on you know sexual abuse towards females less than we hear towards male especially in in schools but these stories are out there so if more people can write these stories tell these stories then the conversation can be had because the difficult conversations need to be had so yeah um kudos to the author for not shying away from such a difficult theme a difficult topic so i generally enjoyed reading this book and i would 100 percent recommend it i um i mean i got sent an e-copy by the author but i'm expecting my hard copy very soon and i'd love to read the hard copy because reading e-copies just doesn't feel like you know the real thing but if you want to read um e-copies or hard copies they're all available you can get them on amazon bam books or kada books you can get hard copies from bookman.ng so uh yeah uh very intriguing book and i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i did so yeah um if you have any questions any comments any suggestions let me know and if you like this video leave a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe if you're watching for the first time so see you guys next time